Hey guys, it's Logan here with Hydra 572. Today I'm bringing you an on padded enveloping, I suppose. Anyways, I did an Instagram trade, rather a trade with an Instagram user named RS9191. Like I said, a lot of our selling and trading type activity is going on on Instagram now. It's just so much easier to take a picture with the phone and upload it. And there's a big built-in community there too. If you guys didn't see, that was the Bird Karakara 2. It is in the review queue. I traded away the uh, Spyderco Delica. I filmed a review before I gave it up. That will be up soon. I want it from Blade HQ, also on Instagram. So pretty much an all-in-house Instagram deal. And here we have the Mantis Pit Boss. And people have said this is a stout blade, but this is a very stout blade. If I had to guess, that is a quarter inch or so steel there. We've only had one Mantis knife before, the push dagger that Chad had and then lost because he took it someplace he wasn't supposed to have a knife. He had to give it up. Um, but a very cool little blade. It is cold. It's been outside all day and it's cold here in Colorado. Well, let me see if I can flick it open. It's not a particularly strong detent, especially for such a big bulky knife. See the edge. The edge could use a little work. The Mantis that we had before also needed some work. You see, as usual, I'm very prepared and I have some padded envelope to cut. Actually, I cut the paper portion pretty good. You know what, let me just go get some paper. Let's do a little sharpness test. And that isn't the stock edge, but it is cutting pretty well. I imagine Ricky sharpened it a little bit. But that is a cool little blade. I don't know if little's the right word because look how chunky that thing is compared to like the car car. The car car is kind of slim, but this is very large. So overall a cool trade. I'll be happy to uh, carry this knife and review it. Looking at getting into some more similarly designed knives. And here we have... I'm not typically the kind of guy to do one or two knuckle brass knuckles, and I probably won't use this thing as a striking device, but that is just an awesome looking little device. I forget who he told me makes it, but it's very cool and actually pretty comfortable. It sits in your hand pretty well. I'm still not confident that you could use it without hurting your hand, but that is a cool little device that you could wear on a necklace, perhaps as a large necklace. And then if things got really bad, then you, I mean, I don't need to tell you what that's for, right? Anyways, so first impressions of the Mantis Pit Boss. It is, as has been said many times, a very large blade. Got a little flick open there. Relatively weak detent. Very early lockup on that liner lock. A little bit of play, but I imagine I could tighten it up because the pivot doesn't appear to be too tight right now. Though I have no tool to tighten that with. Huh. Okay, well, you guys will see a review of this. There is a sort of long queue right now, but I will give this thing some carry and get a review. Might even do a review of this little thing. This is really cool. Anyways, RS9191 or 9191, however it's pronounced, thank you for the trade. And guys, if you aren't following us on Instagram yet, like I said, a lot of our sale and trade activity is going to be there instead of on YouTube because it's so easy to post there. You really should be on there. It's not all girls posting pictures of pumpkin spice lattes. There is that, but there's also a thriving knife and gun community, so go check it out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more of the same.